Okay, uh, 3.15, final problem for this section. Uh, prove the following uncertainty principle, which is that sigma x times sigma h is always going to be greater than or equal to h bar over 2m times the magnitude of the expectation value of p. So, you know, 3.14, 3.13, we already showed that we can relate delta e delta t being greater than or equal to h bar over 2 to uncertainties in position and energy by the following equation, which we showed back in 3.14, 3.13. So go back to those problems if you don't know how this happened. Uh, but we know that sigma h times sigma x divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the expectation value of x with respect to time is always going to be greater than or equal to h bar over 2. These two expressions are equivalent statements, right? So in that case, we can just move this over to the right. Sigma h sigma x is going to be greater than or equal to h bar over 2 times the magnitude of d expectation value of x with respect to time. In that case, well, I know that somehow I have to relate this to p. Well, I know that p is equal to mass times velocity, right? So this is equal to furthermore mass times dx by dt. So that means that expectation of p is equal to mass times d times expectation value of x times dt. This relation itself we also proved back in a, a problem back in chapter one as well, so I don't have to bother you know, explaining this. You can just go back to that problem. I don't remember which one it is, but there's one that showed this proof, right, back in chapter one. Um, so at that point, if I plug this in, well, in that case, sigma h sigma x is going to be greater than or equal to h bar over two. If I want to add an m at the front, I have to add a 1 over m out here times the expectation value m dx by dt like this, in which case this is equal to the magnitude of the expectation value of p, right? So that means that sigma h sigma x is greater than or equal to h bar over 2m times the magnitude of the expectation value of p which is exactly what this problem says. So with that, we're done with this section. Let's move on to the next one.